news at you. Well, our friend Mr. Sunshine decided to join us for another afternoon, and that got us up into the upper 50s, which is where we sit right now. But man, it was another really cold morning where another one of those mornings where you kind of either have to wait for the de de defroster to work or scrape the ice off the windshield because temperatures were in the upper 20s this morning. But we're now 30, degree, 30 degrees warmer with lots of sunshine overhead. Dry as a bone across the Carolinas, but that will not be the story for Sunday. It's going to be another messy weekend. And yeah, the third weekend in a row where the rain has fallen on either a Saturday or a Sunday, and that's just uh, the way it's been stacking up and we're already watching the system that is going to bring us the rain. We've got an area of low pressure up towards Kansas that is actually going to merge with a weaker area of low pressure down towards the Gulf of Mexico, and it's going to follow that classic nor'easter track where it passes over Florida and rides along the Atlantic coast towards the northeast and should uh, ride along the Carolina coast as well. That's going to bring some rain our way starting uh, tomorrow night and lasting essentially all day Sunday. So for the rest of the night tonight, we won't see any big noticeable differences. We're going to keep with a mostly clear sky before midnight tonight with temperatures slipping down to the upper 30s, low 40s, still another very cold night by around 10 o'clock tonight. Temperatures go down even further down by uh, early tomorrow morning into the mid 30s for the mountains, looking at mid to upper 30s and low 40s for much of the upstate. Notice those clouds getting a little bit thicker by early tomorrow morning. That's the general trend for tomorrow. We won't see enough enough low level moisture for rain, but we're going to be seeing upper level moisture for some clouds tomorrow. No rain before four or five o'clock. We'll see just mostly cloudy skies and temperatures in the mid 50s. Here comes the rain late tomorrow night, starting at around nine o'clock is when the showers will start to roll in. Not expecting anything heavy tomorrow night, but that may change into Sunday morning. Rain tr turns a little bit more scattered, a little bit heavier at times, and it kind of continues for the rest of the day Sunday as Again, what will be a nor'easter will ride along the Carolina coast. I got a comment on Facebook saying, shouldn't it be called a southeaster? And that's interesting, but nor'easter actually refers to the path that it follows, not necessarily the region that it hits. So it will follow that northeastward track along the Carolina coast and give us quite a lot of rain on Sunday. That goes for pretty much all the upstate and western North Carolina. We're almost certain we're going to get rain. What hasn't been as certain is exactly how much because it depends on the exact track of the low, how far away it is and how strong it is will definitely determine how much rain we're getting. And in total, we're expecting around an inch of rain here in Greenville. The highest amounts will be farther east towards Lawrence and Union, closer to two inches farther east you go, lighter amounts farther west. Well, Hala, Clemson, only around half an inch to three quarters of an inch expected in total for the moment. So here's what we've got for the four day mostly cloudy skies tomorrow chance of rain picking up in the evening rainy and windy essentially all day Sunday drying out Monday and Tuesday and staying cold and dry a majority of next week a chance for some snow showers up in the mountains impact days there as well we'll talk over some more possible snow totals heading into next week coming up in just a few minutes